Yeah, what's up? Me, Nicole. Perfect, I'm Chief Nicole. Uh, I'm back, um, and I'm writing my new pop show that I'm made. Uh, yes, all crocheted, and, uh, I need to work on this tie. <laughs> Let's see, but anyway, thought about, I'm gonna talk about this one topic about, for, uh, my podcast, um, uh, Haunted Real Fictions. I also like to talk about energy, which is I work uh, quite a lot um, with that. And uh, so tonight I'm going to talk about more of how to really connect with um, or how yourself or how you buy yourself. So I found my research I'm going to read and I can't remember all of it. Uh, so I'm going to read real quick. Now we have so much time. <laughs> Here, so bear with me. Alright, so how to connect with our, our content even with our higher self or divine self. So, like I say, if you're interested in opening up your higher self or divine self, then this practice is for you. So, you can practice the promises of guidance, you can practice peace and harmony, and illuminate light through its higher knowledge. Believers also claim that you can more easily turn away from the distraction of the physical world and restore yourself to the light and love and the power of the eternal self because it, is, it will reveal the illusions, desires, and attachment that keep you trapped in a lower vibration. So, so thus enabling you to find your higher path, what you call it. If you are also supposed to gain a greater ability to recognize limiting disharmonies and restricting energies and thoughts. So the divine self or higher self uh, is always <laughs> trying to reach out to you to give you the power, illumination, and love and wisdom to draw higher forms, thoughts, and your feelings and situations into your life. So the divine self or higher self is wise. It knows all and it also shows you easier and a more joyous, joyful, joyful way rather to live. And you can also sense and feel this power, this energy. Maybe in my next video or so, I'll show you how to do that. How to sense and feel energy. Because other things it's not a huge stressful to your willpower to contact your divine or higher self. All you really need to do is set your attention and open to, to all the gifts of consciousness that awaits you as you try to connect with your higher self. Alright, let's take my first break. Oh, break. <laughs> Cheers. I need a little cup. So. What you should do, if you want to connect with your higher self or divine self, never want at least not at least that particular order, but you should sit quietly by yourself in a calm, quiet spot. Just spend some time of like simply just tuning in. Once again, it's all about attention. So set your attention to make contact with your higher and divine self open it and to receive it. energy, love, inspiration, and all the transformation and awareness that it gets consciousness. It's always offering you silence is a vital factor in this process. As a connection with the divine self or how you come, um, so if you out of mind and you should rid yourself as many depression as possible. It's true when you need to write it. Because of this though, you may not feel you may haunt it. First time I always try again. But don't get discouraged. Your attention is set, so this time is sit longer if you have to. And um and with your divine self or you know. And your receptivity is 
All that it needed to make that connection to receive the exciting energy and inspiration. Season talk. Alright, if you're still with me this far, he does to you, I always say it how I so. Alright, so the next one is that let your thoughts simply go. Especially if they're negative thoughts, let them go. Release any thoughts swimming around your mind and imagination that are infinite intelligence, unconditional love, and all knowing wisdom. Looking with up through the, your eyes. Sense the eye within you. Sorry, my dog. That's, that is always present with a pure awareness. So bring your mind to the state of inner stillness. You can see what I just did. Focus, stillness. You're all on the right track. With knowing to do or think about you just just for a moment or a second. Let go of any thoughts about the outer world and go from within. Asking you guide your divine self guidance from the call to draw you to, into yourself. Hand me down, just take practice. You can make the connection to your divine self guidance uh, even stronger by having the intention. Remember that word intention, team. Release any thoughts or beliefs that may be an obstacle to containing the divine self or receiving its gifts. Mm -hmm. Alright, I might have to do part two where we have so much time on this. Alright, so. You might want to start. Prior to listening to yourself, you might want to start speak to your divine self. If you want to try to ask for your guidance or any sign for your answer as you enter into the silence, you can do this without loud or just in your mind. It is the moments of silence that the divine self can impart to you as much of its wisdom, power, and love that you can receive. Notice that what new thoughts you had after these moments of silence. The part of the part of your device self and higher self. Doing this brings more power and more love and brings more wisdom and it brings more spiritual visit. Alright, also you might be more receptive the next day. You might be a bit more receptive. So afterwards you may receive an inner message Say that may feel like you you are like giving yourself a message, which is totally normal. You know, this is where in contact may come through a sense of energy to start with us because and the inner knowing is an answer, a deeper um, a deeper death, a threat, a deeper threat. Sorry, I can talk. Yeah. Many other ways. It's fine if you do not have any response. You can feel or identify know that contact has been made simple through your intention to make contact as well as you want to contact people spirit. Have that intention set. So, uh, so with that you might have some insight, extra energy, or even inspiration that has been uh, important to you that will unfold at that perfect time. So you don't have to spend a lot of time doing this meditation. With that, it's very effective to have frequently um, 10 or 20 second meditation periods. Even pausing between during a busy day to get quiet and ask for energy or guidance is a wonderful way to deepen the contact with our divine so so yeah this basically what we can do to get started to try to um deepen our inner or higher self 
so that way um we'll gain better insights for us for data for our future better. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um maybe a short episode. Maybe there might be a part two, we'll see what happens. I already did a previous couple other episodes about the dark side of the land. So be sure to check those out. I just might be featured on my Hockey Real Connections, you know, podcast on Anchor. So you guys will get the first hand of what my episodes might be like in the future episode on uh, Hockey Real Connections. Alright, and this is your host, Hotel Sponge, signing off. Peace.